Uh, hello, this is my first video on YouTube. My name is Rogelio Estrada. I know you don't know me, but that's my channel. Uh, today, we're going to start off with a vintage haul. As you can see, um, went to the flea this weekend, this Sunday, this morning. Picked up a ton of stuff, a ton of great pieces. Mostly size small through large, almost no extra large today. We're going to start off with a Bon Jovi long sleeve. Not sure what year this is. This is a have a nice day on a Delta Tag Pro Weight with the huge back graphic. You know, the big photos. And then I'm not really sure what year this is. It has a bunch of tour dates on it. Nice piece. Then we got um a bunch of mids in this next bag actually. Um here these two go together. We got two vintage bootleg um Batman tees. One no pocket, simply just the crest logo. And then this is the back graphic. Very sick photo type graphic, no cracking, pretty much dead stock. Never worn, got a bunch of spots on it, but that's just how it is. And then you got that one and this one to match. Almost the same graphic, pretty much just flips upside down. You have almost the same graphic. And then this one's on the front and then this back and on the back. Both size, um, actually no size tag on these. No, no size tag on these. I'm gonna go with a large on these. These are large. Not too big, not too small. Blue legs, dead stock. Another one, this pretty crazy piece right here. Nice little, um. Sorry. Nice. Not little, but huge Bruce Springsteen photographic. 2003 on another XL jerseys. Huge back graphic as well. Pretty much the same thing. Very, very nice. 2003 tie-dye jersey tag. Double stitch all around. Beautiful piece. Um, up next for the only bottoms I got today. It's a pair of Y2K Calvin. Calvin Klein. I know you don't see these often that much anymore. Not a lot of people are actually even looking for these anymore. Calvin, Tommy, and Polo pretty much out of style. All like the Y2K stuff. Everybody's done on that. That was like 2019. These are actually 90s, not Y2K. My apologies. You see the tag, made in USA. 36. Very, very nice. Very, very clean. No holes, no distressing. You could tell that they hem the the legs a little bit. These are probably not a 36. These are like a 30, 32 long, 36 waist. That's fine. Still very nice. No distressing. Very pristine. All right. Another mid piece. Independent skateboarding long sleeve. Pretty sure this is a reprint on a different, like, um, blank tee. You got another mid. And they got the disco. To go with that one, we got this little one right here. It goes 
hand in hand with the other one. Another Panic at the Disco. Um, this is a super mid, actually. It's this for me, personal. Just the Timberland small graphic. No cracking on that. Okay. These next two, pretty mid. But they're... These are the type of stuff that I love to pick up. It's just modern graphics that look vintage that are start that are starting to crack that have been worn in. This is an adult small. Yeah. Great condition, no holes, no rips. Perfect. Okay. I got another this is another hitter, I'm not gonna lie. Huge photographic for the Britney T. Sadly, I didn't double check before I bought it. But it is a 2019 reprint, unfortunately. Fine. Okay, these next two pieces, you don't really see too often. You don't really see at all. They're, I wouldn't say like super rare or even sought after but i mean if you're in tune to what's going on like with hip-hop everything nowadays you know you know and then we got another one crazy this one is a a small And this one is a medium, both pristine, no holes, no cracking, great condition. Okay, that, that was it for my um, my first bag. Another bag here. Let's start off pretty, pretty simple. Nice little Penn State 95 trucker, Rose Bowl fully embroidered slight wear on the collar but it's fine not sure what tag that is actually young and hat co made in sri lanka year 95 this is like super thin material you could tell it's like um what do you call those parking lot bootlegs yeah stay away from those unless i guess unless you're buying vintage but if you're buying newer stuff, that's the type of stuff that you want to steer away from. Is like the parking lot stuff that people are always selling outside venues. Steer clear of those. Not very, not very good for the resale market, depending on what your your uh, your niche is. Up here we got um next some Belgian beers graphic. Um. Nevada DuPont souvenirs. Once at the top, you'll never stop. Um, medium, supposedly. It looks more like a large, actually. Very thin, no cracking. Nice tea, nice simple one. Here we got a, another nice um, a Domo. Domo eats cheeseburgers. Size XL. This is pretty new. Slight cracking on the graphic. Tight collar, but not bad piece. And then we got the heavy hitter. You don't see these very often anymore. Uh, yeah, you don't see these very often very sought after piece nowadays brand new russell single v crew neck on the white tag brand new with tags xl made in mexico blank all the way around dead stock some spots and stuff but yeah these are actually going really up in value if you looking to get into 
like winter stuff i guess outerwear just casual like heavier stuff for different seasons that's the type of stuff you want to look out for is um the reverse weaves and the boxy white tag russell crew necks and hoodies very very sought after nowadays okay those two are done now we're gonna now we're gonna sort through our heavy hitter I haven't actually even looked through most of this myself. I picked this up as like a, just bought, all out bought it. Uh, jerseys, XL made in USA tag. This is Cutstown Folk Festival, fully embroidered, no spotting. It's a double stitch. Oh no, it's a single stitch actually. And then double stitch at the waist. No spotting, fully embroidered, no back graphic. Very cute, very, uh, how do you say, very in right now. Small graphic. You got uh, another Jersey's crew. Nice little America. Large, just that little spotting right there. Nothing crazy, no holes or nothing, no pilling either. Very soft interior, fully embroidered all the way through. Nice piece, more more of a light true blue, not very dark on that. Next we got Pillsbury Doughboy, 40th birthday. On a Fruit of the Loom, heavy, with the background back hit. It was a tour, a taste test tour. I'm not really sure what year this would be. If you have any info, just comment it down below in the comments. I'd love to know, actually. Oh, right here. No date, unfortunately. It's fine if you guys know just let me know and if you guys are interested in any of these just my store will be linked down below as long as all my other socials so you guys can message me directly or if you're looking to sell message me as well i am buying i am buying on the regular all right let's just keep going keep going with all these simple teas we got an an M and O. Big graphic. Proud to be an American. Double stitch, double stitch all the way around. No back graphic. Nice little, nice little slight spot. But all this gets oxied. And all this gets um, thrown into a cycle of um, bleaching, so you don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. We got Matt's Premium Beer, 100 years, single stitch on a Screen Stars tag. Very, very, very good piece. Super, super thin, paper thin. All the way around single stitch with no cracking on this graphic. Very amazing to see. You don't see a lot of this actually on the Screen Stars tees. Okay, what we got next? Citano, Gitano, all over print. Little uh, sailor wheel. Star graphic, single stitch. I'm pretty sure this is a women's, women's piece, XO. Oh no. This is a men's one size fits all. Beautiful piece. No cracking on any of these. No even spotting on this one. Single stitch all the way down. On the Giganto tag. Chitango. Next, next. I love Branson, Missouri. Not a person or anything. Single stitch bottom. And it is on a
not golf tag from the from the 90s. A little bit of cracking. A little bit of cracking, but nothing serious, nothing too crazy. Still a crazy piece. Um next Taste of Country huge graphic. This shirt is actually pretty big. It's an XL. Made in USA, single stitch all around. Or double stitch all around. Comes with the recipe at the bottom. It's not dated. It's pretty cool. Not bad. Again. What else? We got a hand painted Hanes crew neck size XL. No no V. Just hand painted. By Louise. Very, very nice. No flaws. No cracking. No holes. None, none of that. Next. Um, this goes with that. We got a... We got a Walt Disney World mini with the flower. Size, uh large with the huge back graphic that is crazy i actually have two more of these pieces from um the orlando the orlando park very good pieces i will post a collection on that kind of stuff in the near future we got liver dollar city slight cracked Jersey tag, no back graphic, no holes, none of that stuff. Just like cracking, just a little bit, but you know, it adds to its character. Very good piece. You got here, you got another blank, a blank Toltex short sleeve crew neck. Salmon pink, size XO, large actually, it says large. Very, very nice piece. You don't see those um, those crew neck uh, crop sleeve too often. You had a New York graphic. It's not embroidered. It looks embroidered, but that's just the puff paint. It is... I think it's 94 on a loom tag. Double stitch. Slight cracking, but not too much. No other spots. It's a little bit. Not too much. Not crazy. You got... 2008 Humane Society Dog Tee. With the little kittens on it. No cracking. Very beautiful. Very soft. On the Gildan tag. No back graphic on this. No, no stains on this either. This piece, pretty rare, 1980s, 1989. This size XL, very, very rare piece. Thousand Islands, Canada. Quarter zip, crew neck type with the original drawstrings no cracking on the aglets or any anything like that fully functioning zipper and we got almost no pilling on the interior all well, slight pilling but nothing crazy no spots no holes none of that very very beautiful piece check out of paint, no cracking. Next, Cape Cod loom tag. The birds on there, single stitch all around. No back graphic. Very nice piece. This goes with that. Humane Society member, 2006, 
We got the puppy and the little kitten. We got a, a slight hole right here. That's okay. A slight hole. On a jersey tag. XO. Nope, just large. Beautiful, beautiful piece. They're just chilling on a quilted blanket. Okay. Cuts Town, 1990. 107th anniversary of incorporation of Cuts Town. Single stitch on a Miller tag, paper thin. And fun fact, my birthday, August 3rd on this t-shirt. Might keep this, might shrink it and wear it. Almost done, people. We got like six, seven more pieces left. This goes with this. Blank, black crew neck, washed out, sun faded. No clue what tag this would be. Very nice. Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. On a Gildan. Double stitch all around. Fully embroidered. All the way through. No back graphic. Boxy fit. Hang on, people. We're almost done. Don't want to let you guys down. All these are go together. These are all, like, part of a set. Well, not set, but, you know. They're, like, pretty much the same thing over and over again. So I don't want to show you guys these, like, all in a separate pile. Or s separated. No point. All right, so three more things. I got the Giordano. Nice little side pack satchel. Nice little mini bag, side bag. We got another Branson, Missouri tea. No cracking, 92. On a Lee tag, heavyweight XL, made in USA. Double stitch all around, no cracking, like I said. Very, very cute. Very heavy on the uh, on the crack on the graphic. No cracking. And then up after that, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A single stitch graphic. Single stitch blank t-shirts. All various colors. Black, navy blue, baby blue, like lilac. We got white. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that was everything that I picked up today. All that, like I said, will be linked down to in the description. Probably won't be on the site when you click on it. If you're clicking on it today. Uh, if you're clicking on it later on in the week of November 7th, you'll probably find everything that was mentioned here today in the link in bio. Again, I have my Instagram link down below. Be sure to follow me. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be posting, I'll try to post one of these every week and get you guys updated on all my inventory and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, see you next time.